Hey y'all, let's check out Storywood Sanctuary. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to look around Storywood Sanctuary. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. We check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So this is the outfit today. I just went with casual comfy yet again. Got my little holdables from a little pee, I'm a little icy, and my cookies. What we got going on with the feet? Something real simple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we've seen these shoes before. I don't know. I have come to the conclusion that clearly I enjoy stressing myself out when it comes to these videos. This video is supposed to be filmed and done way way earlier today and here i am at 9 50. oh this little lamb is adorable doing this video this land is not um tp friendly and i am in the shared environment it's also a moderate sim so cool to bring the kitties along and things like that it does have a childlike essence to it so it's not one of those um lands like we've seen before where it has kitty aspects to it but it feels more adult this does feel like it'll be very suitable for kids so that's what we got going on here it's super cute here i came across this land um just searching around like i normally do so i know normally i'll have like an outfit put up or an outfit made for the lands but i didn't do that today because this was kind of like um a last minute land there was another land that i wanted to show you guys but because i waited too long i've been i'm i'm doing my hair in real life let's keep it at a thousand i'm doing my hair in real life and so i was kind of fixated on completing that you know when you when you braid your hair it is bad enough that you take fifty thousand breaks so it's like I was like, let me stop and do this. And I ain't do that. I ended up doing other things and that's why I'm starting late on this. So the land that I wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna show it another time because I'm not gonna rush through the lands. I want you guys to really get a nice feel for the lands. This is so pretty. Look how pretty this is. And you have like the little, what is he? A, I wanna say a gargoyle, but I'm not sure. He looks creepy, whatever he is. I love the little water streams. You guys know how I feel about water. Doesn't have any sound for the water, but that's okay. That's okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna hold that against them. But it's super pretty. That arch is really pretty. It would be really nice for pictures. This has a really nice um fairy tale vibe to it. I love the huge storybook at the beginning and all of the little wildlife and like the little path in the forest super cute the little the mama fox or the daddy fox protecting the babies everything is so pretty and very well thought out i do like this shared environment at first i thought i was going to change it but i decided that i actually do like this shared environment i love this aged unicorn it's almost like originally it was metal but um throughout time the metal has tarnished and got a little algae on it and you know it added a little bit of character so i love this little bunny with like the little blue bunny so it does give a very like fantasy type feel to it especially with all of the flying books and the different aspects like that it definitely gives you the vibe that it is very mystical and magical here and i really like that I like that the land, the grass is not super duper high, especially because I have on heels. Since I've decided that I wanted to start um, having outfits that go with the land, when I do things like this where I don't get dressed up for the land, because it may be just like today, like a place that I just came across and was like, okay, yeah, this would be a really nice land to show you guys. And I just like, I don't wanna spend a lot of time trying to figure out an outfit cause that was just gonna take up more time. I like that the grass is not super high. So it doesn't really take away from the fact that I, it doesn't take away from the aesthetic of the land with me having on heels, walking on grass, you know, because in real life that, that would not, that would not uh, work well. I love all of the little animated animals that they have. They're so stinking cute. 
the little chubby kitty cat with the little birdies how adorable is that the cat moving too much so i can't get like a good good picture they have the little roller skates let's see you guys think i'm gonna be able to fit in here i don't know we gonna see i want to look at the little roller skate first love it love it love it super cute Super duper cute. So let's go into the coffee shop. Ah, oh, I made it. You know, I, I always appreciate a high um, door frame because they they do your girl wrong. They do your girl wrong. I say everybody don't want to be super short in Second Life, but I mean, it's a lot of people that may be short in real life, and so to them, it's not um, much of a change. I don't like how my avatar looks shorter than this i just don't she looks stubby i don't know if it's the body or just the way that i've done the shaping on her but when she's shorter i she's just not appealing um to me i don't like how she looks oh i love all the yummy yummy cakes with the flowers and the rainbow with the chocolate top the little flowers this is like a peach cake delicious with the little blueberries everything looks so good and these are the type of desserts like if i was in like you know these uh, cakes are so fun if i was in like a enchanted forest and i came across a bakery these are the type of baked goods that i would expect to be here so very on brand i love when everything is on brand where it's never just a time where they're like and put a bakery up and put some pastries in the bakery the actual cakes seem to be very well thought out and i think that is really really nice to see because it just lets you know that whoever decorated the land they made sure that they kept in mind the space that they were decorating and they didn't kind of go off task these yummy yummy coffees with the whipped topping so yummy all the little syrups really nice the land does have a aged feel to it but it also could just be because it does have a forest setting so that's that not a bad thing at all i feel like all of the decorations coincide with the feel of the land it does have a bit of a rustic feel i'm very like country comfy if that's a thing we're gonna make it a thing today I love all of the books, the little decorated books and things like that. This is a seating area. So they do have uh, multiple different seating spaces and the seating spaces are very unique um, and very specific to the land. And I really do like that. You have the option to kind of get cozy in different um, spaces like this, where again, there are lots and lots of books, a really nice reading nook type area or you can also like sit on the outside and just have like cool little sitting spaces for you to sit on so it's not so like it's not a chair it's not like the average chair it's like okay well this is cute i wonder can i sit on it and it's like yeah you can you can sit on it so this is another cool seated space it looks like a um it looks like of the middle of a tree but it also gives me like a coconut vibe another cute little bunny so cute this one is a pink one and this bunny is sleeping adorable this is a smaller land but it is packed with so many different things that it really makes the space feel larger than um, what it actually is and i always love that i love when people take advantage of um filling up smaller spaces with a lot of different intricate details this is another really cute sitting space where you can sit on the chair and then you have the super cute um book background for you it's really really nice i love these stones the little beams of light everything is so pretty and so well thought out Look at the trees, the like the rainbow colors in the trees. They're so, so nice. Everything has such a playful, enchanted type feel to it. I could see people bringing their kitties here and really enjoying themselves. Lots of different picture opportunities, like most places that I visit in Second Life. There's always gonna be a lot of different um, picture opportunities. And I do like that because we love a good pick. 
in Second Life. So I wonder how many of my supporters are on Primfeed. They launched a little bit ago. Oop, listen, what, what is Second Life without somebody naked? So, you know, we'll just go ahead and move around before YouTube try to put an age restriction on my So I said, you know what? Stop playing with me, y'all. Just really stop playing with me, YouTube. Another little bunny. That's the first bunny that I saw that actually has a realistic color to it. Really cute. So then they have this adorable little tree house with multiple levels so i was talking about perm feed so i have a perm feed account but i don't have any pictures on it yet i'm getting around to it i am getting around to it but i'm really interested if um any of my supporters are on perm feed how are you guys liking it um would you be willing to kind of like migrate your second life facebook if you're on second life facebook to um the perm feed I think I would. I do like it, even though I haven't been as interactive on it as I want to. These flowers are really, really pretty and unique. They're like um, netted, like netted flowers. I've seen a lot of different type of flowers. Sometimes the flowers will be um, like newspaper or just like the regular petal options. But this has like a nice like mesh netting. It's very cute. I really like it. This space is so pretty. Look how cute this would be for a picture. I don't know where I'm gonna take my picture, but look how cute this would be. To have like a cute little background on a picture. I like it. I really, really like it. Oh, was that a Peter Pan book? I didn't even read it, but it was a Peter Pan book. So yeah, I um the things that I've seen on Prim Feed, I really um I do like it. I really do like it. Oh, that book has some stuff on the inside. This is another pretty flower. Let's look at this one. Super cute. What's over here? What's up in here? Yeah, we, we be nosy. We do. We, and I, I don't mind it. Is this like another little, this another little like chill spot? Could be a possible reading look, a reading nook. It has a little plushies on the floor and things like that. That's super cute. So yeah, I'm really glad that people are taking to Prim Feed because I think it's gonna be something really, really big for people in, in um, Second Life. I love how the um, how easy it is to create an account. It's really, really like a no-brainer. And I really, really like that because it, it takes out the whole task of trying to really like figure out things. Everything is pretty uh, clear cut. And the fact that you can do things with lendings makes it really, really good. And also you have to have a Second Life account to log on. So you don't have to worry about people who are not on Second Life being on Prim Feed. It just, it feels good to have a space for us. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm really interested on how you guys are liking Prim Feed. And then once my Prim Feed, once I have pictures, I definitely, if you guys are on Prim Feed, I definitely want to follow you guys. And I want you guys to follow me too on Prim Feed because I'll be putting um, notifications and things up for like videos. And then I'll have like pictures and things like that, you know, like a lot of other people are doing on Prim Feed. And I would love to be able to interact with you guys more um, through Prim, Prim Feed. I love talking to you guys in the comments on here. We're looking at all these flowers because I really, really like them. I'm trying hard to not right click on them and go to the store and see you know where they got these flowers from because I don't I never come across stores that sell things like this so I know the stores exist and I want to see this is a cute little it's like a hammock type vibe but it's in a tree so kind of like a tree house vibe but not really it feels very personal maybe like a little couples type thing and then they have the little bunny rabbits here super adorable super duper adorable i love it i love all of the little bunnies and all of the stuff like that they're so cute so i hope you guys enjoyed this place the landmark will be in the description box below make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time